All right, here we are for honors physics uh, electrostatics calculations uh, with Coulomb's law. Um, so take a look at problem two. Uh, it says, by how much does the electric force between a pair of charged bodies diminish when their separation is doubled or if it's tripled? So uh, what we're going to do is uh, this is an example of a type of problem that's fairly common in physics where we have a situation and we're going to make a change to one of the variables in the situation and then ask how that affects a different variable. So uh, my suggestion for a general technique for solving problems like this is to start by writing down the, the formula that applies. In this case, Coulomb's law, the force between charged particles, K, Q1, Q2 over R squared. And what we're going to do is we know that in this equation, obviously this side equals this side, and we know that we can make a change to one side as long as we make uh, an identical change to the other side to keep them equal. So in this case, we're going to run through and look at the changes. What's changing is we're doubling the separation distance. So we're going to double r. That means instead of squaring an r in the equation, we're going to be squaring a number that's twice as big. So that's the change we're making there. Now, are we changing how big the charges are? No, they're the same. We're just moving them farther apart. K doesn't change. That's the, uh, the con it's a constant. And so if this changes, to keep the two sides of the equation equal, this now must change because these are being kept constant. So the question now is, what would I have to uh, multiply this by to keep the sides equal? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, well, what's the change that I'm making here? The change I'm making is I'm putting a 2 and I'm going to square it in the denominator. So to keep the two sides equal, I need to divide this side by a 2 squared as well. And you say, hey, uh, 2 squared, of course, that is a 4 in the denominator. And so my answer is that my new force is going to be 1 fourth times the original force. Okay, so that's the first answer. You say, hey, how is this different if I triple? You say, well, if I triple the distance between them, that is, I'm going to be squaring a number that's three times bigger. And so then to keep the sides equal, i got to have a three squared in the denominator, and then of course would be one ninth force. And that's the way that works. So that technique you can use, uh, you can use it with more complicated cases. We could have a case where maybe they tell us that they want, that, maybe they do this, here's the example I think we gave in class, was they said, hey, what if they told us that <coughs> the new force, they're going to make some changes, they're going to make two changes to the problem. What if the new force is 12 times the original force? And we move the charged objects. Uh, we replace one of the, I'm sorry, uh, we replace, uh, sorry, because, okay, sorry, sorry, let me write that better. Um, the new force is 12 times bigger because we replace one of the charges with a new charge which we will try to find, and move them to be one-third as far apart. And we could ask, how big is the new charge, right, the new charge we put in? And so you'd say, well, uh, what did we do here? We had these two charged objects, a certain distance apart, and there's a certain force. And now we made these two changes. We replaced one of these cues, a different size charge, and we moved them to be a third as far apart. So you think, okay, the new force is 12 times bigger. We didn't change K, that's a constant. We made one of the charges some amount bigger. We don't know what to multiply it by. The other charge we kept the same. But the distance we made, one-third is a bit far apart. So now when you do this, you say, okay, I know the black part balanced out equal the black part, but I made these little changes. I can actually pull out the changes, and I can say that 12 has got to be equal to something over a third squared. 
can actually do this and pull it out because this is times something and it's times the same amount. The black parts equal each other. So I can just try, uh, cancel this out. So rearranging this, you say this is going to be a 12 times a third squared. And so you say, hey, a third squared, that's a ninth. So 12 ninths. So you say, yeah, um, four thirds is that factor, right? That we increase this charge by four thirds. So my new charge is four thirds times the original um, original Q1. New Q is four thirds times the original Q1. So the point is, uh, I'm trying to get across here, is we can change multiple variables and solve for uh, the other one that's uh, that's not being called constant, and solve for the effect on L. Okay, so that's that technique.